Like it or not, the age of IoT is here. By year 2020, the IDC estimates we will produce over 40 zettabytes of data per year globally, and about 63% of that will be unstructured data. Is your data center equipped to handle and store disperse of new information? Nutanix Object Storage Service could help. Nutanix OSS leverages all of the benefits from running on the Nutanix Distributed Storage Platform. This includes self-healing capabilities, data efficiency features, and no silos between block, file, and object solutions, or between on-prem and public cloud solutions. In addition, Nutanix OSS is designed with scale-out modularity in mind that keeps its different components independent so that it can adapt better to different workloads. The Nutanix platform currently offers block and file storage focusing on handling structured data sets for use cases such as server virtualization, BDI, OLTP, and many others. Object storage is ideal for handling unstructured data, even if it grows rapidly, such as in the case of data generated by machines and sensors. Here's why object storage matters. Block storage provides block-level access to data. Here, data on a storage device is organized in logical unit numbers or LUNs, which can be accessed via protocols such as iSCSI or Fiber Channel, and it is considered to be structured data. The management of the file system resides with the client. SANS have limited scalability, but are strongly consistent, meaning we expect the data to be consistent across the multiple nodes in a very short amount of time. File storage, on the other hand, provides file-level access to storage resources, and it is typically deployed in network-attached storage or NAS systems. With file storage, Data is organized in a hierarchy of files and directories, with clients typically accessing it via protocols such as SMB or NFS. Here, the management of the file system resides with the storage system. This model also has limited scalability and typically offers strongly consistent data. Object storage is a completely different approach. Unlike file or block storage, the object storage architecture handles data as objects. Object data is considered unstructured because here the data is organized in a flat hierarchy with no directory, structures, or traditional blocks. Each object is composed by the data itself, metadata, and a unique key, and it gets handled with simple GET and PUT requests. Objects are stored in buckets, which could contain billions of objects making this a highly scalable solution. In addition, this model is also accessible, reliable, and supports any device that talks HTTP REST APIs. The most common protocol to access objects today is Amazon's S3 API. While object storage offers many benefits and possibilities, it is important to note it is not ideal for all types of workloads and use cases. The top use cases we're focusing on for Nutanix OSS include long-term data retention. This is great for regulatory compliance data and includes capability for write once, read many, or warm buckets. Another use case is backups. This includes database dumps, log files, and backups from existing software. And then we have DevOps, offering a single global namespace and easy accessibility using put and get requests for image and artifact management. So I hope this helps you see what a powerful addition object storage will be to the Nutanix Enterprise Cloud solution. You can take care of your VM, file, block, and soon object storage needs with simplicity and ease. And that's all I have for now. Please subscribe to our channel and keep on learning. Thanks for watching.